Hey everybody, welcome to EXO Sports here on Experience TV where we talk everything sports, fashion, and fun. It's your girl Jasmine, and this episode we're talking everything NBA Finals. Join me as I tap in with my girl Ritz and my boy Jeremy to talk about all their favorite moments, fashion, and even put them to the test with some NBA Finals trivia. So before we get into it, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also tap that post notification bell so you can get an alert every time we post a new video. Now let's get into EXO Sports NBA Finals Edition. Must be tea time. So let's kick this episode off with a little speed round of questions to give the fans a little taste of how y'all are feeling. Remember, this is a speed round, so try to answer each question as fast as you can. Are y'all ready? I'm born ready. You ready? What was your favorite NBA final series? The 2016 Cavs versus Warriors. Went to seven okay. games and the Cavs came out on top. Jeremy? You know, this is going to be the rare time where me and Ritz agree on something. I'm going to also say the 2016 finals. Um, that was peak basketball. We got to see LeBron do something that was never done. To me, solidifying his status as the greatest of all time. We got to see Kyrie Irving hit a game winning shot, the biggest shot in the history of the NBA. I don't feel like that can be argued. And LeBron brought a ring to Cleveland. Like, that was beautiful. So I had to say that still. I think 2016 was just such a vibe era. Yeah, like, everyone loved 2016. 2016, like, in all aspects of life, 2016 was perfect. No, for the music, <laughs> the sports, everything was literally. All right, so the next question is, who was the best team to never make the finals appearance? I'll have to go with the uh, the Lob City Clippers. You know, uh, that Clippers team from 2004 to 2017, they definitely should have made at least one finals appearance, but the Clippers are cursed. And I think they're cursed only because Ritz is a fan of them. <laughs> I'm playing, girl. Yeah, you, you know, know. Ritz, you know I'm playing with you, girl. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. It's all love. It's all love. Chill. I agree. You can't pick me. I'm going to say the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, I feel like they definitely would have a chance if, you know, John Moran stopped playing around with guns. But, uh, amen. Okay, so who was the best player to never win a championship? Uh, Allen Iverson. That's mine. Definitely. Um, I feel like when he was playing for the Sixers, he definitely was carrying the team on his back, and he did a lot, but it wasn't enough. If he had more support, I guess, I feel like they definitely could have been capable, and he would have gotten the ring. But, unfortunately... Nope. Yep. Jeremy? This this is tough. This is tough. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of all time greats that never won a championship. I have to I'd have to say James Harden never making a finals appearance is still the craziest thing to me because if everybody remembers in the 2017-2018 season, they were one game away. They went to game seven with the Warriors and they went on to miss 27 three pointers in a row. Yeah, that was insane. In a row. James Harden is one of the most lethal scoring weapons in the history of the NBA, and he doesn't have a ring. So, the next question. Would you rather make it to the finals and lose every time or never make it to the finals at mm. all? I think... I, you know what? I'm going to actually go with never make it because I would actually be very upset if I keep making it to the finals just to lose. Like, we made it through the whole season as far as we can get, and we keep losing? No. Yeah. I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, nah, like, I'd, I'd have to agree with you again. This is rare. I'm agreeing with Ritz two times on the show. <laughs> the hell must have froze over. But nah, it's, well, it's just like, bro, do you know how bad it must feel knowing you got to wake up every day and you're a loser? That's no, uh-uh. No, no, bro, no. I'm not, it's better to lose but in the beginning, I feel like, because yeah, people going to forget, to be honest. With you, yeah. But you went to the finals multiple times and you keep losing like that's just sad <laughs> loser <laughs> okay so the last question is would you rather a game winning shot at the NBA playoffs or a Super Bowl winning touchdown give me the game winning shot give me the game winning shot give me the I, I feel like the um the game winning shots look better cause you can win like you can get the game winning touchdown in the Super Bowl running it in from the half yard line like that's okay like you got a one yard one a one yard run and you won the game like okay that's but it's like shooting. Like imagine, imagine games on the line. Five seconds, four seconds, literally three seconds, two seconds, and you shoot a thirty foot bomb. Game. Oh I my god! I, I, I feel like it's more pressure. My body. 
my soul would leave my body. That would be like such a spiritual experience. Like, oh my God. No, I agree. I believe it, especially with the crowd engagement and like everybody like, oh my God. Especially on your home court. Like that's the, that's that's, oh, yeah. that's really why I would say I'd rather make a game winning shot than score a game winning touchdown. Mm -hmm. Cause like if you make a game winning touchdown in the NFL, I mean, it's cool, but it's like, you're not, like mm -hmm. you're not at your home stadium. It's like, never gonna be well. at home. Well, it could be game winning, not at home, but like you mm -hmm. still have a chance for it to be at home. Right. Mm -hmm. The whole city is on your back. Yeah. And you get them a win. Oh different. my God. I'm the king, bro. If I do that, I'm the king. You can't tell me nothing. Okay. The city gonna go crazy. Experience.